I'm April Elliott. Um, I am employed here at Community Mental Health of Muskegon County, um, and I am the, a certified peer support specialist and the consumer affairs specialist for um, community mental health. Um, so what I'd like to talk about today is a few things, one um, which entails uh, is what we are doing here locally at our agency um, in Muskegon here to, to promote um, wellness and recovery in concerns with mental health issues. Um, we're also going to talk a little bit of, uh, into specifics, um, perhaps some different things that we offer here about choices for individuals. We're going to talk about the stigma of, of having that label of mental illness and what that can do to a person. Um, I will start with, right off the front here, a certified peer support specialist, which is one of my titles, is something that I'm extremely proud of. Um, I am a person that uh, has lived experience, uh, not only in the mental health system, but also as a recipient of services, um, and have lived through sitting across from a, a psychiatrist uh, who is telling me that, April, you know, you're diagnosed with this and this and this, and um, how that made me feel. and. It honestly started to limit my life at that time. I was diagnosed 34 years ago. I'm, you know, and I'm. It's been about. It's been 19 years that I have been living, and I say living, um, with these different labels. Um, and we look upon mental illness as as something. Um, a lot of times, people think that we're less than. You know, people that. Um, receive services uh, at, are kind of categorized and um, we're human beings um, and in 2003 with the uh, President's New Freedom Act um, the whole idea of recovery really started taking off because the New Freedoms Act addressed specifically recovery that recovery is possible that wellness is possible, that people can lead productive lives. Um, in that stereotype of when you hear, that you often see on, uh, the, in the media um, is, is just a small sample and it tends to be quite negative. Um, you know, we have rights just like anyone else. Um, here at CMH, we're, we're really moving forward in, in empowering people, um, helping them to, do, to find out what they can do um, to live productive lives, to, to go out and, and do wonderful things. Um, some specific things that we have here at um, Community Mental Health is that uh, we, have we have different therapies that we offer. Um, you know, there's uh, assertive cognitive therapy, there's trauma therapy, there's um, dialectical behavior therapy, and I know these are all big words, but each one of these addresses, you know, different aspects of recovery and what the individuals can do to uh, move forward in their lives. Because sometimes we tend to get stuck. We tend to get stuck um, and um, build walls around ourselves and think that, you know, I'm not a part of. Um, and we strive to, to build bridges. Um, you know, we have uh, vocational services, which is, is uh, supportive employment. You know, um, people that choose, you know, to to perhaps go on Social Security disability does not mean they cannot work. There may be an hour, hourly limitation per week or month that they can work, but employment um, is an empowering thing in itself. You know, having a job, working, um, being productive in, in the community, um, 
that's a wellness tool. That gives, you know, a person self-worth. Um, and it also can, you know, what comes first? A person's symptoms or um, a lack of, of feeling of any value. Um, they kind of can go both ways. I've heard people say that, you know, I, I was um, having experience with, um, you know, addictions or substance abuse issues. And it was because I, I didn't have a job, I didn't have a purpose, um, and then I got employed and I had structure to my life. I felt that I was contributing. I had money. I had income. Um, and then I, I've heard it the other way. You know, um, I was working. I was under pressure. And, and perhaps I wasn't ready to be working. And then things started to fall apart. So it could work both ways. Here at Community Mental Health, we, we encourage people and, and help them and support them in finding meaningful employment in the community. Um, we also, you know, throughout our agency, we offer uh, different uh, workshops at, that are um, empowering in promoting uh, wellness and recovery. We have RAP, which is Wellness Recovery Action Planning, which is um, used throughout the state of Michigan. Um, it is facilitated uh, mainly by peer support specialists. Um, and I have been very active in, in that for, for several years now, uh, seven years as a matter of fact. I've been facilitating wellness and recovery and doing trainings. We also offer WELL workshops, um, which stands for Wellness Empowerment in Life and Living, um, which these two workshops, basically, um, when people walk into the door, to come and, and sit in these workshops. Um, everyone's welcome at the table. Um, it doesn't matter where you are on your journey. Everyone's welcome at the table. And it's an educational process. It's finding out what, what I need to do, you know, to move forward in my life. Uh, it's not about diagnosis. It's not about illness. It's about wellness. Um, you know, if I keep focusing on my symptoms and my diagnosis, you know, that is who I become. And we so want to turn that around. Um, you know, just because I may have a diagnosis, um, which I hardly ever really think about anymore, except for when I'm talking to groups or facilitating workshops, um, I am not my diagnosis. I'm April. And even though I, you know, I've been through very difficult times and, and the people that walk in through these doors looking for help, um, who are going through uh, bad experiences in their lives and, and, and emotional issues, behavioral issues, they're seeking help, they're seeking support. Um, and we want to be a part of that. You know, we try to build partnerships here. We try to, you know, um, listen and talk and care and concentrate on, you know, each individual and not focus so much on those symptoms. You know, what's important in your life? What do you like to do? Where do you see yourself going? Instead of asking them what's wrong. Focusing on the positive. Um... And we do that the minute they come up to the building and those sliders open into our lobby. We have what we call greeters who are our um, peer, peer specialists here at Community Mental Health that, you know, greet people, ask them if there's anything they need, um, you know, if they're feeling uncomfortable, what can I do to help. They offer information and guidance to whom they need to speak to. Um, we also, in our lobby, have a, the NAMI Library, the Na which NAMI is the National Alliance of Mental Illness, um, a strong supporter in recovery, nation, not only locally but nationwide. We have a library right here on our campus off of our lobby. 
which um, is available to anyone, you know, that that receives services here at Community Mental Health. Um, and I believe to people that in the community who would like to know more. And it's a great resource. Um, so when people come in, we want them to feel welcome. You know, welcome, come on in. Um, and, and that is one, uh, one of the newer uh, aspects of this new building here, our facilitate, facility, is we realize that um, how important that is.